if you haven't noticed by now, I kind of like signs. Um, if you've never seen my garage in my videos, I have all kinds of license plates from my old cars, all kinds of Mustang signs, all kinds of stuff. And I've got more than I'm putting up today. Let's see, what do I got today? I got these from, uh, if you guys remember that Turbo 351 Fox video, mm -hmm. Shane. I got a bunch of cool signs that he found. And I'm going to throw these up. Oh, look at that. I even got a thermometer. Didn't even know I had that. <laughs> Sleeper car. Uh-huh. Got all kinds of cool stuff. If you guys got something you want to send me, I'd really like to start collecting license plates, but I, I don't know. I kind of feel odd asking people for their license plates. But hey, if you got something laying around, you want to send it to me, uh, let me know. I'll put my Instagram um, up here on the screen for you. Hit me up there. That's usually easier for me. And uh, from there. I'd love to have signs from you guys. I'd love to have stuff on my wall and be able to look at it and be like, yeah, that's from so-and-so or whatever. I think it would be really cool. I'm going to get some of these signs put up, and then i got to go start my day, unfortunately. I've got a lot of work to do today, so let's get her done. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is a episode of Pay It Forward Garage and I'm going to show you through a little bit of tuning. This is why auto-tune is bad. It is good, but this is what's bad about it. So today, I am working on a tune for Little T-Bird. It's an NA and you can see right here this is a fuel table and you can tell it was tuned by auto-tune. How can I tell that? Well, if you look closer, you can see these cells <coughs> have likely been changed by auto-tune. They're in red and everything else around it has not. The other thing that you notice is there's a big jump from these cells. You got 117, 119, 120 down to 96. Now when you have big jumps like that in your table it's really uh, hard for the ECU to get a good VE number especially if it's got an average between numbers. Let's say it's right here on these four cells you've got 117, 119, 96, and 92. It's gonna have a really hard time giving you a good, a good fuel number and it's gonna average between those two cells so you'll end up with something around 105. So anytime on your fuel tables when you use auto-tune you need to go in and make sure that your fuel table doesn't have any big jumps in it. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. This one in particular, there's some other issues, so I did it a little differently, right? The timing was still set to a fixed uh, 10 degrees, and our ignition table, so you can see there's our ignition table there, it has not really been set up very well. It's basically just 35 degrees of timing everywhere over here, and then over here it's, it's not. So I did adjust this a little bit too. So let me show you where I ended up at. Here, here's the adjusted tune. You can see, let me move this table over here. Here is the um, ignition table that I adjusted. So you can see that we've got a lot better transitions. We start up here on 85 kPa, which will be NA. Anything above that will be boosted. He's not, so don't need it. So we'll have about 35, 36 degrees of timing once we get going in about 5,000, 6,000 RPM. And you can see we taper down and we've got around 26 to 29 degrees right in here when we're, when we're cruising. And then we go down to about 19 at idle. That'll work pretty good. And the fuel table, you can tell there's the one I adjusted. And here's the other one. So this fuel table, what I did was I started with the values that he had right here. Now we only had 10 degrees of timing in it so at 36 it's going to need a lot more fuel. So these are 
estimates based off of his system. So right around 85 is going to be NA. So it'll be at 136 for a VE number, and he's only got 20 pound injectors. So it's probably going to be pretty close. And then it tapers down. You can see as the RPMs go down over here, or um, as the load goes down here. So we taper down, and where he was, right in about the 2000 range, is still pretty close 125, 129. That's where it was. That's where Auto Tune said he liked it. So this is probably going to change a lot, but it, it gives it a good starting point, and we don't have any of these values that have big jumps in them like this. Okay, that's one of the big no-nos with Auto Tune. Anytime you do use Auto Tune, you have to go in and make sure that you don't have any big jumps in your table. So how do we get from this to this? Well. So a lot of it is just doing it a lot, but the other thing that you can do is use table smoothing, which is this guy right here, smooth cells. So if you highlight a big group of cells and you hit this smooth button, it will smooth them between those big numbers and little numbers. That's not the best way to do it, but with something like this, you can tell it needs a lot of fuel right in here, and Auto-Tune hasn't touched it up here, so we don't know what it needs likely it's going to need somewhere in the neighborhood of if this carries out under wide open throttle somewhere in the neighborhood of 130s so what i did was i said okay we'll probably need 134 so i went up to 185 here and i said all right we're just going to throw a 134 all the way across the board here you set it equal to 134 boom then this one i said okay it's probably going to need 133 this is just to get it close and then you can use auto tune to dial it in a little bit 132 you kinda wanna taper it down a little bit as you go because when you go down and load you don't need as much fuel and so on and then up here you would want a little bit more fuel so we'll set this to 136 do about 135 in here and you can kinda of see how I'm tapering this down here and then we slowly start taking some away from from this area so we go Let's go down a little bit. Now this is just setting a base table. This isn't going to be spot on. I just want you to know that. This is just a, a good place to start. And then over here we can set this to something like 120. Knock it down a little bit. Over here, we can set this to something like 120, 110. There we go. And then after you do all that, you can select it. See, you can see we're a little more gradual there. Now these numbers are definitely still a little bit on the high side. So these are table smoothing, and you can see as you do that, it smooths things out a little bit. So we end up with something like that. It's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better, and the transitions are a hell of a lot smoother. And you can see the here off idle, so where are we at right here, 107-ish? And then we'll transition up through 111, 12, 19, and we'll go all the way up here to 185. We're at 133, 134. Now, once we close this, we can go File, Save Tune As, and we'll just go Save it as a test, and then if we open our table back up, you can see it kind of reevaluates it and makes it look a lot nicer. 
So this one, compared to what we've got up here, you can kind of see the, the differences. So that's the basis of it. It's not, uh, it's not a perfect tune by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a very good starting point. <clears throat> and then from here, you can use auto-tune again. Now, when you use auto-tune, it's obviously going to change some cells, and you'll have to go back in there and make sure that those transitions aren't huge, like I said. So like if it changes this 120 to a 130, you know that around here it wants 130. You just have to make sure that you even out the transitions. Now you can use the table smoothing. That works good. Um, but there's also some other uh, options like I just showed you. You can go ahead and adjust the table yourself. Like if you know that down here it needs 120, it's probably going to need 130 farther up the table. Um, at least give your car a fighting chance. What you don't want to do is is run it lean as it goes farther up into the RPM range um, and up into the load. So, <clears throat> Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Stay tuned for more videos. I will have some updates coming on my truck soon. Um, updates on my car. I've been super busy with work, so my apologies on not getting out more videos. I'm trying as hard as I can right now to to uh, do the whole owning my business thing and uh, it's definitely time consuming. So thanks again for being here guys. If uh, you have issues or problems or know somebody who does and you need some help, hit me up. Uh, I like to do paid forward garage videos. I like to help people out that need the help and then I also like to pass that knowledge on to you guys. So hopefully you appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, hit me up on Instagram, I'll put my stuff up here for you guys. Um, I'm always uh, I'm always posting some stuff on Instagram, whether it's uh, personal or, or work stuff, I always got car stuff or all kinds of cool stuff. Have a good one guys, stay safe, stay healthy, we'll see you guys later.